Hi everybody, my name is Johanna and today I'm going to take you to one of the most famous street food markets in Japan, Tsukichi Fish Market. Street food in Japan is not as common as in other Asian countries, such as Thailand or Taiwan. Many Japanese people believe it is poor manners to walk or do other physical activities while eating because it means you're not appreciating your food properly and disrespect the effort of the preparation. Nevertheless, street food in Japan is growing in popularity. Tsukichi is the former site of one of the world's greatest fish markets, which at its prime handled over 2,000 tons of fresh seafood a day. While the inner market was relocated in 2018, the outer market of Tsukichi still offers a killer feed maintaining its charming air where chaos meets hard work. It's a mix of nostalgic market stalls selling all kinds of dried fishy condiments intermingled with restaurants. Tsukiji market is open from 5 a.m. to about 2 p.m. every day except Sunday and Wednesday so make sure to come as early as possible so you have time to queue and try all of the great food. The first thing we wanted to try were croquettes. This food stall exists since 1925 and specializes in fish cakes and croquettes. Japanese croquettes are called koroke and the classic style is made of mashed potatoes with mixed sauteed ground beef and onion. Japanese potato croquettes became one of the top three popular western influenced dishes in the early 1900s as a homemade as well as a street food. Since we were super curious we got a salmon croquette and a shrimp fish cake as well as a stick of mixed spicy squid and corn fish cakes for a total of 1400 yen. The food was still warm and crispy on the outside and flavorful and soft on the inside. Usually I'm not the biggest fan of fish cakes, but these were super delicious. Mm. It's got a lot of corn. If you love egg, then you're gonna love the next food stall. This food stall is more than 70 years old and specialized in Japanese roll omelette, also called tamakoyaki. Lightly sweet yet savory, tamakoyaki is flavored with dashi stock, soy sauce or sugar. It is mostly eaten for breakfast as a side dish for bento lunches or in sushi. The omelette dish is made by using a unique cooking method. The eggs are folded into themselves until they are fully cooked while not being cooked for too long so the egg remains very juicy. The tamakoyaki was beautifully cooked, soft, fluffy and super juicy. I really love the slight sweetness and the others seem to be enjoying it too. At a price for 1 euros this really was spectacular. The next food stall we found sells giant rice crackers with a whole shrimp or whole octopus inside and we really wanted to get the shrimp cracker which was 900 yen since I had seen them on YouTube and TikTok already. Queued 
Overall, I think this was a little bit expensive because the cracker tasted more like a plain rice cracker and only the part in the middle where the shrimp was pressed tasted really nice. My absolute favorite thing in Japan are mochi, so of course we had to get a mochi too. I had already had a custard mochi from the store at Osaka, but it was so delicious that I just had to try the Daifuku chocolate mochi too. This one had a perfect texture, not too soft and a little chewy. The chocolate cream was thick and sweet and the strawberry was perfectly ripe. I love that about Japanese strawberries. They are always perfectly ripe. This is truly the perfect dessert, so make sure to give it a try. My boyfriend's family is super obsessed with fruit, so they got us some white strawberries. White strawberries are called Hatsukoi no Kaori, which literally translates to the scent of first love. If you ever have fruit in Japan, you will know that it's just the best thing in the whole world. Um, other than that, I couldn't really taste much difference between white strawberries and normal strawberries in Japan. But, I mean, these were still delicious. Tastes like normal strawberry. <laughs> <laughs> I personally am not the biggest fan of seafood, but my boyfriend really really wanted to try uni. Uni means sea urchin in Japanese and it usually has a very unique and creamy custardy texture, so he was really intrigued. The fresh and high quality uni is yellowish gold to bright orange from the inside. The sea urchins are super fresh here. You can see the nice color. I mean, you can even see the vendors open the shell at their food stall. For me, this was a little too salty and too fishy. It was also a little bit on the pricier side for 1,500 yen. But even though I didn't love it, I think it's worth a try, especially if you like oysters. Here's a little tip for you if you're done with the outer market but are still hungry. There's a food court on top of the building which opens until 6 a.m. and you can get super good, really fresh fish here too. We got a mixed tuna rice bowl with low, medium and fatty tuna. And this tuna was so incredibly fresh and it really just melted in your mouth. Once again, me. I have never before had such high quality fresh fish and although this was a little bit on the pricier side again, it was absolutely worth it. Even though the street food experience in Tokyo was very different from the street food experience we had in Malaysia, for example, we had to queue a lot, I still enjoyed it very much, especially the tuna. So if you like this video, please leave a like and if you want to see more content like this, I'd be really grateful if you considered subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!